Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Ableton Live Quick Tips. And this time I want to get into the backup function that was introduced into Ableton Live in Live 10 and how it actually works. So I've got a new Live set that I haven't saved yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is save it. And I'm going to save it in here. Call it Backup Tut. And now it's saved. And we can go here, go to current project under places in the browser. And then we can see the backup to ALS live set. And right now we don't see a backup folder in here yet. And this should turn up if it exists. So what we have to do next is make a small change. I'm just going to duplicate this here and now save it again. And here we go. Now we can see the backup folder and we can unfold it and we can see a time stamped live set has been saved in there. Able Life saves 10 backups and once you reach that number it will drop the old ones into your trash or bin. So you could still retrieve it unless you empty that one. And it's just a live set so it has the exact same thing as here. You can see anything that's in there at this specific point that I've been working on has been backed up as a live set. So um, make sure you always save things twice early on so that you have a backup. Also make sure that you don't save the new live set in another live project folder because that will mess things up. This can also create issues with samples missing and so on. And of course you can also find it in Finder or Window Explorer in the spot where you've saved it. That's really it. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.